Hi guys, welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, recently we did a video with the Divi theme that showed you how to turn any text into a button, just like this. Today, we're doing it with a little blog post and we're just using the default WordPress editor to do this today. And you can turn any bit of text into an interactive button, just like this. I know you can add a button module if you want to, but this way, if you've got posts already written, you can just go in there, add another little bit of text and turn it into a button really easily. So let's undo what I've got done here and we'll start again. Okay, we'll get rid of this and let's start a new blog post. I'm gonna hit new post. We'll give it a title. I'm going to use the default editor. I'm using the Divi theme. You can build it with the builder. I'm going to use the default editor to show you how you can do this with any theme, just using the WordPress blog. So here we are. Let's just throw in an image like I did before. We hit the little plus. There's an image. Just throw in an image. Okay, well, let's add a paragraph. I'm going to add it. Well, I guess we'll add a heading. Great, well, let's pop that in the middle. I'm going to go down a couple. Now let's add a new block. And we'll just add a paragraph block. I've got a blog post copied in my clipboard. I'll just paste it in there. And there we have it. Got a little blog post there. Fantastic. But say we want to chuck a couple of buttons in here various different places. Let's just do one. I'll show you how easy it is to duplicate it. So perhaps I want to do a button between these two paragraphs. I'm just going to put my cursor in there. I'm going to go down, put what I want to say. I'm going to select it. I'm going to link it. Obviously, button wants to link to something. I've got no real link. I'm just going to put a hashtag in there for a placeholder and hit the return. We've got our link in there. Fantastic. Now I'm going to edit this as HTML. To do that, just hit the three little dots up here. Roll down to the bottom, edit as HTML. P is for the paragraph text. This is all paragraph text. Our link's paragraph text. The A is the anchor tag that we just put in there, or the link. After the first P, before the right-hand pointy bracket there, I'm going to put my cursor. I'm going to put a space. I'm going to write the word class equals and then two inverted commas. Inside the inverted commas, I'm gonna make up a class name. Let's call it my BTN. You can call yours what you want. It wants to be unique. I like mine to mean something to me. Okay, when we're good, just click outside the box. It's gonna tell you this block contains unexpected or invalid content. Hit the three little dots here. Tell it to convert it to HTML and we can preview it. Now we've just got a regular little link like that. That's great, but we want to turn this into a button itself. So let's do that. I'm going to hit publish. Then I'm going to go to my theme customizer. For anybody that doesn't know, if you go to your dashboard, most themes will have a customize under the appearance. If yours doesn't, have a look at the documentation. There will be somewhere to add custom CSS. If not, you can add a free plugin to do that. Just search for CSS plugins. But most will have it under appearance and customize. Hit the customize. That's going to take us to this page here. By default with WordPress, if we go down to the home page settings, it's usually set on your latest post, which I've got here. So let's just click on the new one that we've done there. So we've got it focused over here. My new button. There it is. That's what we just created. And let's turn this into a proper button there. So we'll go back. Right at the bottom, we've got additional CSS here. Now normally, if you haven't written any already, this will be blank. But if you've got some down there already, you can just scoot it down. Start again from the top, or you can put it down below the last entry there. I always like to give it a title, it's always good practice, which is forward slash star star forward slash. And if anybody edits the site after you, it's a bit of a courtesy and make it a lot easier for them to see what's going on. 
Uh, let's say my custom buttons. Okay. All we gave our little link here, a class is my BTN. So all class names have a dot or a period in front of them. Then the class name, my BTN. But for our particular case today, it had an anchor tag. And that's what we want to affect today, the actual anchor tag itself or the link. So I'm going to put a gat. I'm going to put an A for the anchor tag. We'll open and close some more curly brackets here. And we can start styling. Okay, well, I want a background. I'm going to make mine blue. And you can use RGBA colors, anything you want here. As you can see, that's turned that background blue. And just to show you, let's perhaps use the blue of our logo here. You can use hex colors. We will color picker right here. I'm going to copy that. And instead of blue, I can put a, a hex color in there, which is hashtag. And it's turned it the same blue as our logo up there, which is fine. So you can make any color you want. Okay, well, I want that writing to actually be white or the link itself. So I'm just going to say color, colon, FFF is hex code for white. As you can see, that's turned like white. Fantastic. Okay, let's make it a little more button shape with a bit of padding so i can say padding and top and bottom i think i'm going to give it 10 pixels and left and right let's give it 25 pixels obviously adjust the taste that's looking a bit more like a button to me now now if you want to add rounded corners put a little semicolon on the end always put a little semicolon on the end if you don't it won't read the next line of code within the curly brackets there last one doesn't need it good habit you get in to put them on all of them if you want rounded corners, we can use border radius. If you want slightly rounded corners, we just put a low value in, something like 5 pixels. If you want sort of pill-shaped buttons, you can up that to perhaps 50 pixels. It'll give you pill-shaped buttons like that. I'm happy with the smaller corners, so let's just take that back to how it was. Put a little semicolon in there. That's great, but when we hover over it, I want it to change color to have a different color so it's more interactive you know if they put their mouse over it they're going to see that something's going to happen so let's copy this class name and the anchor tag again going to drop down paste it in there control v we're going to create a hover effect right after the a there with no gap i'm going to put a colon and the word hover that way we can have completely different styles when they put their mouse on it all I really want to do is change that background color. Let's change it to a red. Like I say, red will do. Now when I put my mouse on it, it's going to change color. But it's doing it pretty much instantly. I like to have a little fade effect between the colors there, just for a bit of grace. To do that, in the regular state, not the hover state, we can add another line of code. We'll use transition duration. Dash duration. Put a little colon in there. I'm going to make mine about 0.7 of a second, almost three quarters of a second. Well, 0.75 will be three quarters. Let's just do that. 0.75s, put a little semicolon on the end there. Now, when I hover over it, it's a lot more gradual. And I like that. Great. Well, I want to give these buttons a little bit more space on the bottom. I mean, you could just go in there and add a couple of spaces with your return. But if we just copy the class name here of my button without the link, drop down, control C to copy, control V to paste, open some more curly brackets. We're targeting the actual button itself and not the link now. We can give it a little bit of margin on the bottom. Let's say 20 pixels, see what happens. A little bit too much, maybe make it 15 pixels. Yeah, that works fine. And you may want to align your button centrally or to the right. And to do that, while we're in the My Button class here, we can go down one more. We can use Text Align again. For the center, obviously put in center. We've got the button in the center. Or if you want it on the right, put right. Got it on the right there. I'm happy to have mine in the center. Great. 
Well, once you're happy with the way your buttons are looking and reacting, hit the publish up here. It's really important. And to add more buttons, it couldn't be easier. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. If we go back into our post now, let's go down. Perhaps we want another button after this one. We'll just put our cursor in there. Couple of returns. What we want it to say. We want to turn it into a link again. Put in where you want to take your visitors there, obviously. Hit the return. Now we want to edit as HTML. And all we need to do to change that into a button now is give it that same class name. So after the P, before the right hand pointy bracket there, little space, class, equals, two inverted commas, and the name, my BTN. And we'll click off, it'll give us that little flag, three little dots, convert to HTML, hit the preview, once we refresh this page, that will turn into a button. Now let's add one more down the bottom here. A couple of spaces, so you get the code. You know what to do next. Add a link. Hit the return. Three buttons. Edit is HTML. Put in the little class name. Of course, you can copy your class names. Don't have to type it in every time. Convert to HTML, preview. Now, if we save this, we can either refresh this page to see our buttons, or we can just go ahead and preview the post itself. There we have it. If we roll on down, there's our first button. And we got our little hover effect going on there. Second button. And to add more buttons, you've seen how easy it is. Just put in the, the text and give it that class thing. And we're all good to go. So there you go, guys. There's how to add buttons to your blog posts or any text on any WordPress site really easily. And I'll put all this code down below the video for anybody that just wants to copy and paste. Obviously, you're going to put, want to put your own colors in and change things around to suit your styling. But as you can see, really easy to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or we'll make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.